Hello. So, um, I put my uh, open baffle woofers in, and the thing is, uh, I only use the upper upper woofer. So the the bottom woofer is not doing anything at this moment. Because uh, if I put them parallel, um, you know they're like too loud. Actually, they're too loud. So I thought, well, can I maybe make them to the ESL if I only use the top woofer? But the, the thing is, the thing is like this. If I use them in parallel, the, well, the surface area that is doing uh, everything, uh, well, up to almost 1K or something, I think, is two woofers uh, and they're spaced out a little bit so it's gonna beam like hell and uh, it's not very nice so I thought well what if I only use the top woofer so it doesn't beam as much so it you know it combinates better with the ESL and uh, see if I can maybe think of a sort of a design that only uses one woofer so it's not it's not gonna be like you know for big rooms it's not gonna work but I thought about uh, maybe uh, this is a dual woofer but uh, let me see this is like a crappy uh, dr drawing and I thought about several ways of doing it like a uh, concrete slab and then have sort of this woofer arrangement in there or use it like this and then don't use a woofer in here now you see of course you think well this is round uh, I don't see any round ESL it's very true but I thought what if I look at the surface area of this ESL and see if I can manage to um, at least, you know, if I got like a 10 inch, for instance, 10 inch woofer and uh, see what the surface area is compared to this, this thing. And I think it comes close, maybe a 30 or a, well, I don't know, a 10 inch or a 12 inch, one of the two. And what I'm going to do is actually, since I can... Um, divided so what I wanted to do this is a really nasty drawing work so I don't so for instance if this top woofer sorry for the smoking I'll uh, get rid of it <clears throat> so for instance these are woofers okay well maybe I don't know maybe uh, like this uh, what if I do the high frequencies here on this part and do the lower frequencies of the ESL on the rest of the thing. So what, what's happening is, is that since this is rather small, the dispersion of the high frequencies vertical is also a little bit better. And then the rest does uh, higher frequencies, which is no problem at all anyway. Uh, so that could be a nice option and as well I could like since it's near the edge of the frame I could like maybe half the distance for instance in terms of um, distance to foil since it's not gonna suck the foil into the wires uh, this close to the edge of a frame so if I you know make the high frequency department here where it is the smallest and I decrease the distance from wire to uh, foil I maybe I don't know yet but I might be possible it might be possible to get a little bit more oomph out of the high the top end and um, that's nice because then I can filter this and uh, you have okayish dispersion I mean, the long things we see right now has a really nice vertical or horizontal dispersion at this moment. Very nice, actually.
but uh or sorry horizontal yeah horizontal but vertical is quite shitty so um uh this could like it could be a nice combination of both actually normally i wouldn't choose a round esl because it has uh, one big resonance but we have to tame that one uh anyhow one of these woofers uh, works quite well in this kind of room it's not made for big rooms it's not gonna work but i can imagine uh smallish rooms and use a subwoofer if you want to go like really low and loud uh, if you can spare um well you don't have to uh, send the material to these speakers then because otherwise they will reach their xmax these have lower distortion than my Dayton's, for instance, way lower. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna play tune like the way they are, just just uh, to see what's happening. And uh, please let me know what you think. Uh, I think it might be possible to do, yeah, it's gonna be like a, a monitor thingy. So it's not gonna be like for a huge room because that's not gonna work with one 12 inch for low end in open Bethel, it's not gonna work ever. Uh, so it's gonna be, uh, you must see it like this. Uh, it's like a monitor that plays to around 100 Hertz. And if you want to play in a, what well, it plays down to 50 or 40, but if you wanna play in a big room, just use a subwoofer and you know, don't send a signal below 100 hertz to these speakers. So I'm gonna make some weird, weird fucking baffle for this because, uh, yeah, I was thinking about making a cheap way of open baffle or, or even the closed one with the datums, but I cannot think of a good way to do it. I think this is the best because this is also giving me the option to maybe use some concrete along the way. And I want to use concrete because concrete is and heavy and it's really nice material. I like it. So let's play a tune. Uh, let's clap. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be Aphid Fisher and it's gonna be. Uh, let me see. Dot com. <laughs> Dot com from a Fisher. So, kind of, uh, it's possible. Or because you can. I don't know. But uh, anyhow, it's some guitar and stuff. Omdat het lente is, dat iedereen naar buiten wil lopen en fietsen en liggen en lezen, dat kan maar ik wil graag een tent bouwen omdat het lente is. In deze stad, omdat we hier de weg weten en de winkels en de cafés, de Oude straten lichten zacht en groeien op vanavond iedereen. Oeh, buiten kleuren bomen in. Oeh, buiten groeien huizen. Ook de 
So there is uh, another option. You can, you know, like make a two and a half way speaker. Um, so the top woofer is only doing, well, not only, it's doing low end and as well top end, uh, question mark. I mean, it's not really top end, but, and the, uh, the bottom woofer is only doing like 50 Hertz and such, but it will fuck up the impedance kind of. And I think filters going well, if you do that, because it's filtered so low because it's an open bathroom. And in this case, it's like there is a 60B filter at 60 Hertz or something, and it will compensate for the, the baffle losses or the open baffle losses, as well as being a crossover. Uh, if you use two woofers in parallel and use like one um, a cap ca capacitor on one of the woofers to uh, play top end, or mid-range, actually, lower mid-range. Uh, it will, uh, well, it will go down to four ohms and it will screw up the first filter because uh, it's a different value at four ohms. So I don't think that's possible. If you go active, it's no problem. Okay. Push is, uh, well, let me see. Anything about them? Oh. I'm a fechter. She's fighting all day, but she's really old, so she loses all fights. <laughs> but she wants to, so I don't care. Well, I hope she doesn't get, like, beaten up. 